In 2018, China displayed an anti-drone laser weapon called Silent Hunter at the International Exhibition of Weapons Systems and Military Equipment in Kazakhstan. The appearance of this weapon has amazed many military powers. It has a farthest range of up to 4 kilometers and can accurately and silently shoot down drones flying at an altitude of 300 meters, with a shooting down rate of 100%. In addition, it can penetrate a 1 cm thick steel plate placed 800 meters away, which is extremely lethal. And the birth of this weapon also made many people know its developer, Ho Jing. She is a woman who is called by American experts to be scarier than a nuclear bomb. She is China's top weapons expert, and she led China to become the first country in the world to break through the U.S. technology blockade, making China's laser industry quickly take the lead in the world. From an ordinary girl in a small town to the world's top weapons expert, what kind of inspirational life does Ho have? How did she promote the laser weapon to greatly improve China's combat effectiveness? Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. Ho Jing was born in Liaoning Province in 1971. Her parents were both factory workers. When she was very young, her parents often took her to the factory where they worked. Since she was a child, she has seen all kinds of machinery and equipment in the factory. Every time she went to the factory, she would run to the equipment and stare at it for a long time. This is something her parents didn't expect. After all, as a little girl, she doesn't like dolls and beautiful dresses. How could she be so curious about these devices? She likes toy models related to the military, such as tanks, trucks, etc. She dreams of being a soldier when she grows up. Until September 1993, she was admitted to the National University of Defense Technology. It is a professional military academy in China. Over the years, it has cultivated many famous military talents, so it is also known as the cradle of military talents. In China in the last century, not many girls were able to study, and even fewer were able to go to university, not to mention the girls majoring in physics at the National University of Defense Technology. But Ho Jing has an unyielding heart. During her four years of college, her academic performance has always been excellent. With excellent grades, she continued her master's and doctoral studies at the Chinese Academy of Sciences. There, she was taught by academician Jiang Wenhan, a well-known Chinese optical expert, and this optical knowledge was of great help to Ho Jing's later research on laser weapons. Unlike other lights, lasers are man-made. A lot of light will be affected by other media and will appear scattered, and the color is not single, and the brightness is not high. In contrast, lasers have many advantages. 1. Good directionality. The lines irradiated by the laser beam are almost parallel and highly directional. 2. Strong monochromaticity. We know that the color of light is colorful, but the laser is artificially generated light. When the laser beam is generated, other colors will be filtered out, and only one of them will be retained. 3. High brightness, the laser have a long range compared with other beams. So, many scientists have used the properties of laser to develop laser weapons. With these properties, it is possible to emit a particle beam with a specific weapon. The diameter of this particle beam is very small, less than one ten millionth of a nanometer. And these particles are able to gather together and emit a great deal of energy, which has a very strong killing power. After decades of research and development, the United States successfully developed the world's first laser weapon, the laser gun, in 1964. The attack speed of this laser gun is very fast, its speed can reach 300,000 kilometers per second, and the hit rate on the target is very high. And the concealment is very good during combat and it will not be disturbed by electromagnetic interference and make any sound, so it is not easy for the enemy to easily find it. Even though tanks and armored vehicles have thick and hard shells, laser weapons can directly penetrate the shells of tanks and armored vehicles without destroying them and kill the soldiers inside. Since the successful development of the first laser weapon in the United States, 
countries around the world have begun to study laser weapons. But in the last century, due to the influence of the war, the Chinese government devoted a lot of time and energy to solving the problem of food and clothing for the people, so China did not conduct research on laser weapons too early. In 2002, Ho Jing stayed at the school to teach after receiving a doctorate from the Academy of Sciences. But she is not willing to be only a teacher in the school, she wants to do more. Since China was relatively backward in research on laser weapons at that time, in order to improve the country's science and technology, in 2007, Ho put forward a request to study abroad and went to the University of Bath in the United Kingdom for further study. When studying at the University of Bath, when other international students were addicted to exotic customs, Ho went to the laboratory every day to do experiments and learn relevant knowledge. She always has the motherland in mind, and she only wants to learn more, so as to contribute to the people of the motherland as soon as possible. Five years later, after returning to China, Ho led her team to study day and night in order to break the technological blockade of laser weapons in the United States. In just a few short years, Ho Jing led the research team with the goal of high average power and all fiberization, broke through a number of core key technical bottlenecks, and led the proposal and development of two new metal photonic crystal fibers internationally. It has developed the research and development technology of high power supercontinuum light source with independent intellectual property rights, and the main technical indicators have broken the record maintained by the United States for four years. Later, she continued to devote herself to the military career. After successfully breaking through the supercontinuum spectrum light source technology, she turned around and joined the research of the National 863 program. This time, her main task is to study how to better apply scientific research results to the military, so that this technology can really help win the war. Under the hard work of her and her colleagues, the supercontinuum spectrum light source technology was successfully combined with the laser weapon, which also greatly enhanced the combat effectiveness of the laser weapon. Since then, Ho Jing has been called a woman more terrifying than a nuclear bomb by the Americans. Why do Americans call her like this? This is because the laser weapon developed by Ho Jing, which can fight at a long distance, has extremely high energy. For example, in Ho's research project, there is a laser weapon called Deathlight A, which has a range of 3,000 kilometers and an energy density of 35,000 joules per square. We also mentioned at the beginning that the Silent Hunter developed by Ho has a range of up to 4,000 kilometers and is extremely penetrating. Through Ho's efforts, China's laser technology can already rank first in the world. Ho Jing is like a modern version of Mulan, paying tribute to this heroine. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.